Tonight, a mother left heartbroken. Her son shot to death after a high school basketball game. Atlanta News First, Yasmina Austin is live at Tri-Cities High School in East Point. So Yasmina, the boy's mother, says she wants to hear from his classmates. Yeah, Alan, 15-year-old Mario Bailey's mom says one of the other teens has to know what happened to her son that night, and now she wants anyone with any information to come forward. Shanice Bailey still can't believe her son is gone. Mario Bailey, only a sophomore, shot and killed after a basketball game when she says some sort of a fight turned deadly. If y'all know what happened to my baby and y'all saying y'all his friends, even if y'all not his friends and y'all just know what happened, stand on, stand on me, stand on me. It happened not far from Tri-Cities High School. Bailey says she dropped Mario off and never imagined she wouldn't see him alive again. He was in JROCC. He worked every day. The game was Friday. My baby supposed to have been at the ball Saturday. The JROCC ball Saturday. He didn't make it. The 15 year old wanted to join the military, go to college. He had dreams, his mother says. But Bailey tells me she had a strange feeling about the group of kids her son was with that night. East Point police say his fans left the game Friday. The shooting happened, as well as another student stabbed in the school parking lot. While the incidents were separate, the school is stepping up security. My whole heart is gone. It feel like somebody took an ice cream scoop, scoop me out. I'm, I'm, I, I barely can breathe, I barely can sleep. And we haven't learned of any arrests just yet. Meanwhile, Mario's family says they are planning to have a vigil for him on Tuesday evening. Live in East Point, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.